spear boosters I'm just showing you the beginning of the process for making my beef pot pie I have just roasted this beef this roast this beef roast with uh, what, about five potatoes I'm gonna let this all cool up cool down then I'm gonna come back and uh, show you all the rest of the ingredients and then start prepping it putting it together then we're gonna bake it then we're gonna show you the finished results so I'm going to be back in a little bit to show you guys this this baby been cooking for oh I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna cut this meat up in cubes y'all and it's been it's very tender and you can see it's a London broil I'm gonna cut it in cubes because I don't want the stringy so I'm gonna put it in bite-sized pieces but anyway we'll be back and well I'll be back spirit boosters to show you guys the rest of the prepping looks delicious tastes delicious if I had this baby roasting in the oven for about I guess about four or five hours she's ready <laughs> Hey Spear Boosters, welcome back to my channel and welcome any new Spear Boosters that have joined this channel. Welcome into the community and thank you, thank you, thank you. And remember, any visitors, passy buys, look loose, if you keep coming back, why not just join and become a Spirit Booster too? Alright, okay y'all, y'all looking at the prepped ingredients for my beef pot pie now as you can see I already flavored my crust it's delicious I flavor it with some butter I take melted butter and put the seasonings of my choice and mix all that together and then I just flavor my crust and it is delicious because remember last time you guys I made that chicken pot pie with this flavored seasoned crust also and it was good we ate it all up all of it <laughs> so as you can see today I'm using the Pillsbury pie crust I could use the other pie crust but I'm preferring to, pre preferring to use this one today when I do my peach cobbler for one of the holidays Christmas or New Year's I am going to use the box crust Betty Crocker or what was the other one y'all Betty Crocker and Krusty it's either gonna be Betty Crocker Krusty or I don't know I might got a Pillsbury one too I'm not sure in the box but anyway that's what I'm gonna do when I get ready to make the cobbler but anyway I got the Pillsbury pie crust I'm gonna do a little beef broth I have a couple of uh, cups of already roasted beef roasted potatoes I got the roasted onions there, uh, bell pepper and bell pepper and uh, uh, colored bell pepper, red, green, and uh, yellow. And I have some mixed vegetables. I have some cream of mushroom back there, beef consomme. I think that's what you say. <laughs> cream of celery and also the rest of my flavored butter that I'm gonna slather, lather on top of the top crust. And I got that French onion dip stuff back there. I might put a bit of that to flavor, give a little bit more flavor. So, I don't know what that noise was in the background, but I'm totally ignoring it. But, um, yeah, y'all, I'm getting ready to mix all this stuff in a bowl. Oh, light went out. There we go. I'm getting ready to mix all this stuff in a bowl, you guys. And uh, like before with the pot pie, I mix all my prepped ingredients in a bowl. I'm not putting them in one by one in a crust. I want it to be thoroughly mingled and tingling together. So that's what I'm about to do. And when I finish that, I'll be back. I'm going to pause y'all for a second and get all my ingredients in this seasoned pie crust, okay? So hold on, y'all. Okay, guys, I got light going off. Darn it. Come on, light. 
Please come back on. I got the mixture in here. It looks kind of light because of you know the cream, the cream of soups ingredients. So, um, dang it! Come on, light, come back on. Do you see I'm in the middle of a cooking demonstration? I am in the middle of a cooking demonstration, and I don't want any interferences. People in the audience are otherwise, so please, silence while I'm preparing this beef pot pie. Okay, spirit booster. I'm getting ready to put my lid on it, and I'm going to put it in the oven. I got it at 375. I'm going to just let it cook till it's done. I'm not in a hurry to eat. I may even cut the temperature down and let this just slowly cook and brown, okay? So y'all know when I'll be back with the finished product. And I hope you guys will be back to join me when I come back with the finished product, okay? So here we go. Everything mixed together, everything in there, everything's about to be... Well, I'll be back when I put the lid on it, okay? Okay, Spear Boosters, I am back and I am through putting my top pie crust lather... Um, lather. <laughs> layer I put my top crust layer on top of this beef pot pie that we're having today so I'm getting ready to put it in the oven oh I have to put some slits in it I forgot about that I'm glad I thought about that I got to put my slits in there I put about eight slits on the top I um, lathered slathered the top of the pie crust with my seasoned butter herbs and spices seasons of my choice if you guys make one you just choose what flavors you want your pie to taste like and you should and you can also um like with my um filling it looked at like beige but be that's because of the um cream soups like i told y'all but you can also add some of that kitchenette stuff if you want to darken your gravy up or you could do all that prep beforehand if you want your pie to be looking dark like say for instance like on that beef broth um container there but everything gonna be good just like my chicken pie pie i'm gonna have some beef today i was thinking about making some dinner rolls but y'all know why i'm carrying on and on if you don't you better ask somebody <laughs> but anyway let me go ahead on put this in the oven and when i come back i'll share with you guys the finished results of a baked beef pot pie okay <laughs> okay spirit boosters are back and i'm about to slice into this beef pot pie as you can see it's rather brown on top got the crust as crusty and as brown as i want it now i'm about to slice a piece so hold on you guys let me cut into a piece because i'm ready to eat okay spirit boosters i cut me a piece should let it cool down a little bit more but <laughs> I'm about to eat and this is my beef pot pie homemade beef pot pie a hearty comfort food a pantry pantry a prep pantry what did I say meal whatever I titled this stuff in my previous video this is what this is going in come on light so I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video and um, bon appetit to me and I'm about are you guys gonna be making any pot pie soon let me know in the comments or any cobblers let me know anything with crust and are you making those Christmas cookies too but anyway let me get out of here hope you guys have a great day and a great meal thanks for watching and any new spirit boosters, please say hello and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Until the next video, spirit boosters, stay safe out there.